this beautiful Sansui uh, vintage stereo. Um, I like the sound of this uh, Sansui and the looks of it, but this is not one of those uh, really good Sansui from uh, 8080 or 9090 or the DB. But this beautiful Sansui gives me a good quality sounds. And as you can see here, this is my setup and my beautiful Sansui turntable. So today guys, another video here that we want to talk about why a lot of people like and love the Sansui because even me I just love the Sansui and in a long period of time the Sansui is just amazing but back in the day guys you know um, Moran's is popular yeah and even me I fell in love with this this Moran's and I thought you know Moran's is uh, one of the best stereos out there but Moran's it's Moran's and it has this beautiful looks but there is something about the Sansui. The Sansui guys originally came from Japan. And the word Sansui has meaning. And you can Google it. So you will know the meaning of Sansui. And the Japanese engineer built Sansui's. A lot of, a lot of Sansui's from turntables to equalizer to receivers to amplifier to speakers and Sansui you know became a popular stereos um, back in the 70s and even today's guys a lot of people are buying Sansui's and they love the sound quality of Sansui's the Sansui's guys it's not one of really, you know, one of the expensive, expensive uh, uh, stereos. Um, they are not Macintosh and they are not like thousands and thousands of money. But Sansui, I would say it's a good, it's a good price. It's reliable. It has a beautiful sounds. It has a beautiful looks. So you can see this third table here and this receiver. I fell in love with Sansui's guys is because the looks of the Sansui's is just different from other stereos and they have their own signature. Um, as a collector guys, you know, I collect different types of vintage stereos and I know that each brand has different style and you can tell which one is really good one and which one is really nice looking one and this Sansui has this Japanese looks and um, the signature of the Sansui as you can see and you can tell you know it's really totally different from other stereos that I have or other people have um, there are many many stereos guys from Sansui with different models and different sizes and prices but uh, I would not I would not try to buy uh, Sansui 8080 or 9090 DV is because they are gigantic uh, receiver and heavy heavy stereo 
and if something happened to that if it breaks and it's I know it's gonna cost money and uh, to fix it so I would just go for a simple um, Sansumi like this one I do have the Sansumi over there uh, Sansumi 2000 X and another Marantz on the bottom right there so you can see and they are beautiful beautiful uh, receivers guys um this summer guys you know i'm gonna start hunting vintage stereos again and i'm gonna start buying stereos again and uh, stack my garage so i can start you know uh, making profit sell some vintage stereos and make extra money um, summer in a couple months and definitely I will start buying and over here guys as you can see I have two different types of turntable here I have the Rotel right here and the Sansui and I used to have JVC on top of that but I took it out so I put it back where it belongs and I just want that Sansui to be alone right there because it looks amazing so this two here guys I use this from time to time and this Rotel right here it's connected to my Marantz yeah and the Sansui is connected to my Sansui receiver and to my Sansui speaker yeah so definitely guys uh, beautiful beautiful uh, vintage and if you like vintage stereos you can definitely uh, buy vintage stereos for a good price so this Sansui receiver it's not that powerful it's not my uh, my Marantz 4430 it's not my Luxman, but it gives me a decent, uh, good quality sounds that I can enjoy my vinyl records when I play my records with this turntable. And to me, this is good enough. The, so the good, the, the sounds, it's good enough. I am not expecting to have a, you know, loud, loud sounds that it could irritate my ears but I just wanna to have a good quality sounds and enjoy my vinyl records so those are my records and uh, I listen that without those records from time to time and some of them are new some of them are used and I have more up there that is my uh, yeah those are my tubes yeah sometimes I feel like listening to my tubes and then I just grab that and you know connect it to my speakers and listen to that from time to time I have to use that because it's not good when you don't use it at all so I use it from time to time and up here guys I have more records on the right you've seen those ones with plastics uh, cases those are new and on the left you can tell that it's used so it's all uh, it's all together the used and the new uh, records that I bought and down here there's new and used so I am not a big buyer or spender when it comes to records guys because records are very expensive and they are not cheap so from time to time i do buy one here one there sometimes i buy online or if i see some uh, used records in the flea market then i buy it but i'm not a fanatic guy you know um, buying and buying records because you you can't listen to all the records guys you can't i mean some some folks they have a lot of records and that's their collections and that there's no way they can listen to those records guys they just buy it to collect it so and later on they will sell those records so I am not 
you know, a big spender when it comes to records. And um, I'm not a big spender when it comes to stereos. I don't like to pay a big amount of money for my stereos. I just want uh, good stereos for low pro low price. So that's how I do it. That's how I want it. So um, definitely, guys, this Sansui here, you know, you can uh, buy it online. But uh, to be honest, it's not really powerful, but it has a good quality sound so that you can enjoy listening to your records. So definitely, I will recommend this uh, Sansui 5050. It's a very uh, nice looking receiver and it looks beautiful so um so for some people guys they like those expensive expensive turntables and a stereo receiver and they pay thousands of money um they are just you know a big spender but not me guys i like the vintage stereos because this is you know this is the type of stereos um when i uh when i grew up and you know this is the type of stereos that i you know i've been um, looking or watching from other people you know with their vintage stereos so that's why i got uh, i got um i got involved with this vintage stereos you know um, i got into it and then you know, i keep i start buying and you know um <laughs> Nowadays, guys, you know, they are charging a lot of money from turntable to receiver. And online, guys, you will see the prices of these stereos. They are not cheap anymore. Um, the inflation, the economy today, they wanted to make money. They want to, you know, make profit. And they want to uh, get more money from the buyer. So that is why I, I don't buy um, stereos um, online anymore because if you buy it on eBay the price in eBay is just I would say outrageous but you know but here guys in the bottom here I want to show you guys what I have here this is uh, I bought this uh, recently I will show you guys yeah I bought this past weekend and I want you to see this beautiful um audio you know this auto here guys um has a battery inside and if you know there's a blackout you know there's no electricity you can definitely use this it's fully charged and they have uh outlets here and here you can see for cell phones and on this side they have these plugs so you can see yeah the outlets for um, power cord to plug it in and definitely guys this is amazing because I pay a low price for this and this is about more than $300 and I pay $75 for this. It's brand new. I bought it from the owner and it's definitely uh, working. So definitely when there's blackout and you know you need electricity, you can use that for emergency for, for lighting or lampshade. It can could run lampshades, uh, computers, stereos, you know. This thing is powerful, guys. It can run, uh, you know, like, um, what do you call this? I believe microwave and, you know, um, other stuff. So very nice. And I got it for 75 bucks. And I'm really happy because from time to time, guys, you know, there is no electricity and it's a big problem. And I don't have a, a good, you know, um, power bank that could last for a couple days but that one i bought and now i have it so thank god they did not go to the store i did not go to uh, go to the store and pay 
more than $300. So that is a good deal for 75 bucks. And it's brand new. So thumbs up. And back to the studios, guys. Um, this is, you know, my studios. It's simple. It's not one of those expensive, expensive ones because I don't like to spend big bucks for my studios. And um, I'm happy with my studios. So definitely, you know, you can enjoy uh, listening to your studios like this. Um, like I said, it's not really powerful, but it has a good amount um, of sounds that you can enjoy listening to radios or turntables. So that's good enough for me, you know. Um, this one here, guys, this Morantz 4430. I don't know if I wanted to uh, sell this one day. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of it and you know sell it for seven hundred dollars or more and uh you know have the money but i don't know collection this is my collection so i don't know if i can let this go that quick because this is a good morance yeah so you know when you have collections guys some of your collections you can't just you know like let it go and i did a lot of letting go my uh, stereos in the garage and this is some of the stereos like leftovers and you know um, I think I'm good for now and even over here I have this Pioneer uh, SX838 yeah and over here as you can see I have the Luxman I have more in there so you can see and up here see I have more turntable and speakers up here right there my clips speakers and I have more um, collections up there from Sansui um, Rance. but that one in the middle guys this uh, beautiful beautiful let me move this guy so you can see yeah so that is uh, what do you call that brand that brand is uh, Task cam, yeah, tape deck, and a CD recorder, which uh, that's a buddy of mine that I borrowed, and still here. So I had to uh, talk to him and see this uh, this summer, and I'm gonna ask him, you know, when he wanted it back. But sometimes, you know, when he don't like it anymore, he give it away. So I will see, maybe, maybe he'll give it away, guys, and I can have it for free. Yeah, and I have that Sansui right there. I mean, not Sansui, Sony receiver. And over here, I have Bose, yeah. Uh, my iPhones, yeah, so I have stuff, guys. And, you know, I have a lot of books over here, a lot of books, you know. So I got stuff, guys. And for now, I'm happy and I'm not really looking forward to buy uh, another receiver online because it costs a lot of money now the inflation the economy a lot of people are charging uh, pricing their stereos overrated so so that is why i don't buy anymore f online and i'm keeping my stuff what i have and i'm happy and that's it so guys thanks for watching and i will see you again next time it's the subscribers and enjoy your stereos, guys. For now, say ciao, ciao.